Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this video, I want to show you how to connect your vanilla Space Engineer server to your Tabex web store. We already support Space Engineers through the Torch API, but this is the preferred way to do it for vanilla servers. So I'll first show you how to put the files on your server and tell the server that we want to use the plugins and also tell it where it can find it. Then we're going to make sure that everything is connected to our web store and I'll show you a few comments running as an example. So first of all, we have the Tabex core plugin. This is what is going to be connecting to Tabex and registering when a payment has been made. And we have the Tabex companion plugin. The companion plugin will allow you to do some of the more essential things. Give item, give money. You can reserve a slot, unreserve a slot. You can give a rank or you can say something in chat. The companion plugin is more as a quick start or easy way to get started. We love to see unique rewards for purchases. So the source code for the companion plugin will be made openly available with full documentation. You can create your own unique rewards fitting with your server and your community. If that's something you're into, please take a look at the link in the video description. In this video, we're going to be using the core plugin with the companion plugin. So let's actually start setting this up. I got a fresh Space Engineers vanilla server running on gtxgaming.co.uk. I did run it once and then stopped it to make sure that everything is running properly and all the folders and files are created. We need to stop the server first. You can either go through the file manager on the website, but what I did, I opened up FileZilla, which is a free FTP program, and this will make everything a little bit easier to manage the files on my server. So let's first put the plugins on the server itself. It doesn't really matter where we put it. We need to manually point to it anyway. I like to keep things organized. So I'm going to go into mods. Inside of there, I'm going to create a new directory or folder. Call it plugins. And inside of there, I want to put my plugin files. So let's first drag in the core plugin with its two dependencies. And it doesn't matter if you use the companion plugin or if you're going to write your own plugin, you will always need the core plugin and its two dependencies for it to work. Then let's drag in the companion plugin as well. Now we need to tell the server that we want to use plugins and also tell it where we can find those files. So we're going to open up our space engineers dedicated.cfg. For me with GTX gaming, this is in my root folder. This might be in a different location for you. If you get stuck or something is not in a location that I show here, if you contact your hosting support, they should be able to help you. So I'm going to drag this to my desktop then let's open this up. And then if we scroll down, we should see that there is a entry for plugins and it's self-closing. So it's basically saying we don't want to use plugins. Let's fix that. Let's remove the slash and the space in the back, then put that slash in front of the P. That is our closing tag. We need to create a opening tag as well. Capital P like this. And then in between here, we are able to point the server to our plugin files. I understand that this can be a little bit confusing if you're not familiar with scripts or XML. If you just follow along what I do here, you should be fine. It says for me over here, pre-made checkpoint path, and it's already pointing to my root folder. If it's not doing this for you, or if you're having issues finding where to point to, once again, contact your hosting support. They should be able to help you out. I'm going to copy this path to the root folder, and we need to put this inside of a string. No capital this time. Same as with the plugins, create an opening and closing tag. And then in between here, we're going to point to our plugin file. So from the root folder, we went to mods, then plugins, and now we are in the correct folder. And then we are going to copy the name of the core plugin with the extension, so .dll, paste that in here. And since we also have to point to the companion plugin, I'm just going to copy this, paste it, and then do the same thing with the name of the companion plugin. So now we told the server, we wanna use plugins. We wanna use these two plugins and this is where you can find them. So let's save this and then let's drag it back onto our server and override it with the file that is already on there. So everything is updated on the server as well. Let me move this out of the way. There's one more thing we need to do. We need to get the Tabex Space Engineers configuration file. This is what will contain your secret key and make sure that everything is connecting to the proper web store. So when we open this up, you can see that there is a section for the secret key. So let's get our secret key and let's put it inside of our configuration file. On Tabex, we're going to click on game servers on the left, and then we're going to click on connect your first game server, select plugin and click on continue. I'm going to call it Space Engineers Vanilla, and I'm also attaching the example package to it. Let's click on Create. 
the first four steps here will show you the process we just did. Step number five is actually going to give us our secret key. So let's copy the comment. Let's go back to our script and then just paste it in here. Let's save this. And we want to put this in the same location as the space engineers dedicated.cfg. So I'm going to drop it inside of my root folder. If you're using a different host, things might be in slightly different locations. Try to find the space engineers dedicated.cfg, put it inside of the same folder. Once again, if you're having issues, the support of your hosting company should be able to help you out. If we scroll up on that same page, it says not connected. So let's go back to GTX, to our dashboard, and let's start our server. And it should, in a minute or two, should say here, connected in green. Indeed, it now says connected. So it seems like we done everything correct. Let's click on continue. And now we created our server called Space Engineers Vanilla. And our store name is called SE Release. When we go back to GTX and take a look at the web console, the core plugin says server Space Engineers Vanilla for web store SE Release. So it is connecting to the proper web store and everything is set up properly. We also have some information from the companion plugin and those options that I said in the beginning are displayed over here. And it also shows us what kind of format we need to use. So let's give ourselves a item. So we need to do give item ID part type and then the amount. Let's go back to Tabex. Let's go to packages and then let's edit our example package. And you can see that I already added three comments. I'm going to say give item we're going to use the ID variable. We then have to specify the part type. So we're going to say the category is ingot. And then the part we actually want is iron. And I'm going to give myself 20. If you take a look at the last comment, it's the same thing, but a different item. Give item ID. And then instead of saying ingot, we want a component. And the component that we actually want is the superconductor. And we want a hundred of those. And also in chat is going to say, thank you for your purchase. So let's click on update and let's go to our web store. Then let's go to packages, add the example package to our basket. It asks us to log in. So let's log in with Steam, sign in. And now we are signed in to the web store. Proceed to checkout. Fill in my information and then continue. We don't have to select a payment method because it's a free package, but we do have to accept the privacy policy and the terms and condition, and then we can complete our order. Order complete. So let's return to SE release. Now the comments are waiting for us to log into the server and it should automatically trigger and give us our item and display the message in chat. Let's go back to the console. Let's copy the connection information. Let's start up the game connect to our server inside of the game let's go to join game and then direct connect at the bottom here we can paste that information that we just copied and let's also add it to our favorites to make it a little bit simpler to join next time let's select a earth-like drop pod and let's spawn in if i open up my inventory oh <laughs> good timing so i was about to say if i open up my inventory you can see that we don't have the items yet but we just got it if you missed it i saw the chat message thank you for your purchase and if I open up my inventory, you can see that we got our 20 ingots and our 100 superconductors. And I actually made a nice landing. Hopefully this was helpful and got you excited for our new vanilla implementation of Tabex with Space Engineers. Oh, oh, let me get back to safety. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Well, that's a good start of my game. <laughs> let me let me just get away from this a little bit. Doing my outro <laughs> while my ship gets exploded. Fuel critical. Okay, well, that wasn't the best start for my game. Pretty good ending for the tutorial, I think. Hopefully, this was helpful. If anything was unclear, you can always leave a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.